Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. My name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I am the guy that three years ago sold everything he owned, his house, his companies, his cars, his motorbikes, his pension, everything. And together as a family, we went all into Bitcoin and then started traveling the world in this beautiful camper van. Now, three years later, guys, we are still traveling the world, coming to you now from Chalaklam, Kopangan, Thailand and today guys we are going to talk about the Bitcoin price I'm going to show you some interesting charts I'm going to show you which technical indicators must relieve the stress and trading of Bitcoin because you need to look at the long term and I'm going to show you why the video will be full with all-time highs all-time highs and very different indicators I didn't know this before but check these indicators because you will be amazed on how many all-time highs we are producing at the moment also going to show you why all these governments and government leaders should not store their wealth in gold why they should store their country's wealth in bitcoin and i will end with maybe our next travel destination because i read something very beautiful about austria and salamantex and i'm going to share you in this video what it is enjoy watching today's video guys Let's take a jump into my office, guys. Hop. Yes, welcome to my beautiful office just in front of my door here on the beautiful beach in Chalaklam, Thailand. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin price today, guys. We saw again the price moving below 9K. Hmm. Is Bitcoin becoming weaker? Is the support becoming weaker? Will we fall lower than 9K, guys? Are we going to this low of 8K or 7K or even 2,500? Like I said in my video yesterday, I don't believe we can go that low, guys. But it's just another TA that thought it is possible if we do the same move like we did in 2014. For me, we could retest the 8K lower region. But guys, I am too positive at the moment. I see too many positive indicators that i'm going to show you now again a little bit in this video but biggest part of the video guys won't be about the bitcoin price if we look to the long-term indicators guys we can see this very interesting thing if you look at this chart that one yes you can see that the people holding their bitcoins longer than one year is around like 61.3 percent so 61 percent of the bitcoin owners hodls the bitcoins already in their wallet longer than one year didn't move their bitcoins in their wallet longer than one year the even bigger believers that had didn't move their bitcoins for over two years guys that's about 44 percent so 44 percent of the real bitcoin believers didn't move their bitcoins out of their wallets for more than two years and then when we're talking about the real diehards i consider myself as a real diehard now because if you didn't move your bitcoins for over three years longer than three years hold your bitcoins in the same wallet didn't move it you belong to the 28.6 percent of the bitcoin owners you are one of the diehards you didn't move your bitcoins for over three years so welcome to the bitcoin diehard group that's why i'm wearing the shirt today it's all about being bitcoin you don't only talk about bitcoin you don't only trade in bitcoin you are bitcoin being Bitcoin. Also a very interesting indicator I haven't spent that much time to because I'm not really knowledgeable on this indicator but it's the TD sequential. I think, I think TD stands for Tom DeMarc. It's a sequential system that a lot of traders use. Um, Tone Vase, one of the guys I met a few times, he's a specialist in the TD sequential. Um, if we look at this TD sequential guys then we can see that if we zoom out into the charts and we take the six month chart so every candle is six months let's take the chart this one so if you look at this chart you can see every candle is six months and every time this TD sequential showed a green one candle in the TD sequential every time we show this green one candle we saw a bull run after 
if you look on the chart always remember lo look to the left and in the left you can see that every time we had the G1 we saw the next couple of six monthly candles going up every time we saw the G1 this green one candle just opened again at the closing of the last month's candle in June which means that there's a huge chance that the next six months we will be going up and the six months after that we will be going up and the six months after that we will also be going up that will be three higher highs in these six monthly candles which has happened before as you can see on the chart which would lead indeed into this new bull run and if we go 18 months up from here yes we will be arriving around this beautiful point of 100,000 Bitcoin somewhere in 2021. We can also see that the hash rate has recovered after the halving. Yes, we had a huge dip, but we recovered. The miners are in profit again. The miners are running their systems 24 seven full power. So they don't have any reason in selling their Bitcoins at the moment. So this is a drop of the selling pressures of the miners. If you combine this with this TD sequential, the long-term charts, the long-term indicators we have seen flashing, the growing amount of whales we have more than 1800 bitcoin whales the amount of people that are holding their bitcoins all these factors combined guys make me very bullish i can't be bearish at the moment yes if i can't be bearish for the short term i can see these small fluctuations i can see these small drip dips into 8k into 9k and back to 10 and to 9 yes but i'm talking long term I am zooming out in Bitcoin guys. I am zooming in and live. Why do I always say this? Because I think when you zoom out in Bitcoin and you take a look at the bigger picture, you don't need to stress about the charts every day and you're able to zoom into life and enjoy every single minute of the day by doing things you really like. I don't think people like to stress about, on, about charts. I do think people like to swim in these seas and to discover beautiful places in the world. So by zooming out on the crypto charts, you can zoom in in life. But for those people that want to zoom in in the charts as well, let's zoom in to the four hour chart here. Lisa is presenting us this beautiful colorful chart as we are used from Lisa and Edwards. This chart is showing the four hours. Every candle is four hours and you can see what she is expecting on this chart, guys. We can see that we had an A, B, C, D, E movement and that will follow up by a growth again on one, two, three, four, five. So it is one, two, three, four, five movement should just take us up all up to 11,600 ish. So this is a short term move we can expect. But again, there are also bearish people that expect a short term move back to 8K. So this is what you get if you look at it at the chart short term. You're always doubting, oh, are we going to 11K or are we going to 9K? I don't care. Zoom out into the market. Look at these six mumbled candles. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the hash ribbon indicator. Look at the Puel indicator. Look at all these indicators that have predicted the bull runs in the long term. So the next one year, and then you will become a little bit more peaceful in your head and have more time over to enjoy life. Because whatever way you look at the charts at the moment is a beautiful point to buy bitcoins because if you believe bitcoin will go to 20k minimum the, the, the all-time high and we make a new all-time high of 25k you are doubling up your investment if you believe in 100k you are multiplying your investment by 10. so guys don't try to catch the exact bottom because this will only make you stress about these charts day in day out just buy in bit by bit and if we dip you buy in a little bit more Fuck, I was just attacked by sand flies, so now my calves and my ankles are itchy as hell. That's the only negative part of this part of the beach. Sometimes in the year, they have these sand flies, and I was just attacked by sand flies. The beauty of this blockchain is also that we can trace how many Bitcoin wallet addresses there are created. We can even zoom in to how many wallet addresses that are created in a hourly base if we look at the hourly amount of created bitcoin addresses guys so a new two-year high of 22,319 bitcoin addresses created in an hour we haven't seen this for two years long so that was around the last bull run and now we see this again we are seeing 22,319 bitcoin addresses created every hour this is a two-year all-time high very positive as well we also haven't seen so many active addresses as we have seen today it is more than a year ago that we saw 60,000 hourly active addresses 
this is also a one year high. So yesterday we saw more than 60,000 addresses active in an hour. This is again a very positive indicator, which is suggesting that more and more people are becoming active in this industry again and checking their wallets or using their wallets or even sending their funds from a wallet to another wallet. And hopefully you still remember what I told you in one of my last videos, guys. And that is that still 80% of all the Bitcoin hodlers is in profit. So 80% of the Bitcoin wallet addresses out there is in profit. This is very positive. So they don't have any need to sell. They are still in profit. As long as these Bitcoin addresses are in profit, they are not even thinking about selling. They are only thinking about the next bull run. And that is why so many people, more than 60% are hodling their Bitcoins because they are in profit and they expect a bull run. No reason to sell. Finally, guys, we have a real life example of why also governments and dictators and all these centralized people should step into Bitcoin and not huddle their country's wealth in gold. You might think, now, why is that, Didi? Yes. Do you know Venezuela? They have this country leader called Maduro. Maduro held more than one billion US dollar worth of gold at the UK bank. And now the UK bank is not granting him access. This makes me really laugh. So now even these governments with each other are not agreeing anymore on the wealth they own. So he stacked 1 billion US dollar worth of gold at the UK bank because he thought he could trust them because he thought it would be safe over there. And now he doesn't have access anymore because the UK doesn't agree on how he is steering his country. Yes, I can understand that people disagree with the way that Maduro is leading his country, but still, <laughs> would that be a reason for other countries to just freeze their gold stack? This is why Maduro now needs to understand, never store your country's wealth in gold, or it can be confiscated, or it can be frozen by the other country, or it can be a wrapped up yellowish layer that looks like gold, but inside is rotten iron. So Maduro, if you're watching my video, never store your country's wealth in gold again. Just do trust Bitcoin, because that is also the reason why you accepted Bitcoin payments for passports and everything. And now you need to restore your faith in Bitcoin again and set it free to the people of Venezuela and set the mining free to the people of Venezuela so that they can recover of this huge crisis Venezuela has been in. So please, Maduro, <laughs> to all the other government leaders and to all the other countries, watch out. Before you know it, they will freeze your gold stack and then you wish you would have listened to me and to all the other Bitcoin people, you would have wished you listened to all of them. Then you would have stored part wealth of your country into Bitcoin and nobody would have been able to take it from you if you just guard your private keys. As you know, guys, we as a family have been doubting about the next location. Maybe I just found the next location because yesterday I was searching for flights on Skyscanner. I always use Skyscanner to search flights because I can find the cheapest flights over there mostly. Then booked them with Excel Trip because Excel Trip allows me to pay for my flights and hotels in Bitcoin. So that is why I use Excel Trip. And I found some really cheap flights yesterday to Austria. The flights were like 100 euros per person cheaper um, than to flying to Milan or then flying to Frankfurt or flying to wherever in Europe. So yes, we are thinking about flying to Europe and to continue our camper van tour when everything is safe again. We don't know yet how it's going to evolve with this whole COVID situation because we don't want to get locked down in Europe. So we are watching all the data very closely, like the cheap flights, the locations, what can we do, where don't we need to wear masks and all that stuff before we will even decide to really take a step to fly into Europe. But if you want to fly into Europe, flying into Austria is one of the cheap possibilities at the moment. And yesterday I saw these prices. Today in the news, guys, I read that in Austria, we will soon be able to spend our Bitcoins in more than 2,600 stores all over the country. This is a project by Salamantex together with A1. A1 is the biggest uh, mobile provider in Austria. And they two together created a product now that we can use our Bitcoins in more than 2,600 stores from this summer. It's already July. So guys, I might want to fly now to Austria, not only because of the cheap flight tickets, but also to test if this is true, to test if I really can spend my Bitcoins in more than 2,600 stores in this beautiful country of Austria. 
This reminds me to how we tested it in, for example, Ljubljana, Bitcoin City. If you want to see that again, how we spend our Bitcoins in that city and how easy it worked, check this video, this one. This video, we show how we spend our Bitcoins in Ljubljana. We, show, we have many more videos of how we try to spend Bitcoins in Spain. Just look at the playlist, the Bitcoin family daily life. And in this daily life videos, we share how we as a family walk into these stores and try to pay with Bitcoin. Even Jessa start, tries to pay with Bitcoin. You can see this in all these family videos. They are still undervalued family videos because they haven't been watched as many times as all these daily videos now. So take your time this beautiful Saturday now to watch a few of these family videos where we try to, um, where we try to pay with Bitcoins all over the world. But now Austria is going to have 2,600 stores accepting direct payments of Bitcoins, guys. They are going to do it with a POS terminal, so I can just scan the QR code on the terminal and the payment is done. I am very excited about this Salamantex project. I met two girls of this project. I think it was in Mallorca last year. We had a conversation about how, what they wanted to do and that they wanted to have this adoption in Austria. I, at that point, was still a little bit, okay, let's see how this will evolve. But now they have proven me they were talking the truth. Yes, they are creating mass adoption in Austria. Yes, they are giving access to 2,600 stores to all our beautiful Bitcoin people. And not only Bitcoin, also Litecoin, Ethereum and Dash as far as I could see. Probably some more currencies, but I need to dig deeper into the project. And that is probably why I will fly to Austria and test it over there and have this beautiful chat with the company in their main office. That was the video for today, guys. Yes, finally a shorter one. I made too many long videos in the last couple of days, so I forced you to sit behind your screen or telephone too long because I think you needed to drink like six cups of coffee to watch all my videos. And now this weekend, I'm going to make two shorter videos so you can enjoy your weekend a little bit more instead of watching my videos for more than an hour. <laughs> Hopefully you did enjoy this short video as well. If you did enjoy the video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment because I love to answer your comments, guys. And please remember, guys, like I always end my videos, you need to zoom out in crypto, you need to zoom in in life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Thank you for watching this video. Have an amazing weekend and see you tomorrow again. Bye.